All right, so we are looking at the eddy current apparatus. Um, as you can see, some nice little designs to it. So you have two metal plates, like so. The first plate you can see, uh, it's just a solid piece of metal. And we have our second plate, which have little slits in between them. And in this apparatus, you can see on both sides, little tiny pieces of magnets. Uh, that's what we see there. So let's put this on the side. Now, revising on what we understand about eddy currents, uh, you'll know that um, when we have a moving plate going through magnets, there's going to be a change in flux. So according to Faraday's law, as we have a change in magnetic flux, we are going to generate EMF onto these plates. Okay, This EMF is going to then be converted into uh, eddy current. So essentially we'll have electricity flowing around in circular loops on these plates here. Okay. Now, according to Lenz's law, these um, eddy currents are going to generate a magnetic field that's going to oppose the original change. So if I'm causing these eddy currents to loop in, let's say, uh, anti-clockwise direction, uh, the eddy currents is always going to try and oppose that. Okay? So this application uh, is known as eddy currents, or the use of Lenz's law. And what you'll see here is, this application you'll see is in electromagnetic braking. You can see here we have the slits. Now, if we're, by having the slits here, we should find that the eddy currents won't be as big. And so it won't uh, stop, come to a stop as quickly as the bigger plate. So let's have a look. Line them up, both around the same height, and let's let it slide. Okay, so what you saw here was the uh, plate that didn't have the slits. It came to a stop a lot quicker uh, in comparison to the ones with the slits. Now the main reason for that is the eddy current generator on this plate is a lot bigger in comparison to the eddy currents here. These slits essentially break up the size of the eddy currents and hence the eddy currents acting on this is weaker so it will um, go backwards and forwards uh, a lot longer than the plate that doesn't have it. And so that's how you explain um, how eddy currents work and how Lenz's laws work with magnetic braking.